will discuss here the graph of the reciprocal of the square function, that is the function f of x equal 1 over x squared. Let's notice a couple of things about this function. The domain of that function is the set of all real numbers except 0, and therefore again the graph of the function will consist of two parts, one for x is less than 0, one for x is greater than 0. It's easy to show that this function is the um, even function because f of negative x is f of x and therefore the graph of this function is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. It also means that we need to graph only the part for x is greater than 0 and use the symmetry to obtain the graph for x is less than 0. Also notice that the value of 1 over x squared is always positive and therefore the graph will be always above the x-axis. As with the reciprocal function, we notice that a reciprocal of the large number is a very small number and the reciprocal of a small number is a large number. We use this property to obtain the graph. Let's plot a couple of points. So for 1, the value of y is going to be 1. If x is equal to 2, the value of y is going to be 1 fourth. If x is equal to 3, the value of y will be 1 ninth. With increasing uh, values of x, uh, the value of y is going to become smaller and smaller, and therefore the graph is going to be approaching the x-axis when x increasing without bound. Now, between 0 and 1, we'll have the values that will be close to 0, and therefore small numbers, and we know that the reciprocal of the small number is large number, so for example, if I choose 1 half, the value is going to be 4. Reciprocal of 1 half uh, squared is going to be 4. For one-third, the value is going to be 9, and so on. So the values for x small, the values of y are going to increase, and the graph is going to have similar shape here as the graph of the reciprocal function. However, this function is even, so the graph is going to be symmetric with respect to y-axis, and draw, uh, plotting a couple of points will obtain the complete graph of that function. Notice that we, this function also has the asymptote. So this function has the vertical asymptote and horizontal asymptote. The vertical asymptote is the y-axis and the horizontal asymptote is the x-axis.